Let's pick up where we left off and look at CD and Linux shortcuts. CD does not take any flags, and it only takes one parameter, the directory you want to go to. Linux provides some shortcut directories you can use, and they'll work with CD. CD tilde takes you to an account's home directory. It's a really useful shortcut because different distributions put their user accounts in different places. On this demo Ubuntu system, my home directory is slash home slash JRS. It's the same on Fedora. On my Mac, which also runs a Unix-like operating system, it's slash users slash Jim. All of them will go to the right place if I type CD tilde. If you don't specify which account, it will take you to your own. If you are logged in as root and you don't specify an account, it will take you to root's home. To specify an account, just put it right after the tilde. Note that some directories will require privileges just to see. Remember, Linux assumes that multiple people will be logged in using the system at the same time, and it will do its best to protect the users from each other. CD period period takes you up one directory level toward the trunk of the directory tree. CD period takes you to the same directory you're already in. This shorthand isn't very useful for CD, but there are times when it's absolutely invaluable. So now you know what the Linux directory tree is and how to get around in it. Go ahead and explore your Linux machine's directory tree. It may be organized a little differently than my demo machine, but it'll all be pretty familiar. It won't be long before CD, LS, PWD, and their various flags roll off your fingertips without conscious thought. The directory tree will simply be as familiar as the road you live on. Root over there, etc. rc.d over there, and my place over here in slash home. When you've used these commands a while, it's actually hard to go back to the slow click-scroll-click-scroll click, scroll method that GUIs use.